All right, guys. Going to finish this up. I gave it a gasket match. You'll be able to see I'm still smaller than the gasket. I do that for a reason. Anytime I do a gasket match, you know, finish it up, I always float one more time. It turns out one of them had a, a, a real big problem. This number six had a big problem on that apex. Uh, so I had to do I had to do some serious work to that, and then it became our highest flowing port. Wow. Okay. So this is where we wound up. This is what we wound up on our final as far as gasket match. And remember, when I do a gasket match, it's going to go in quite a bit of the port because I want to get my taper right, right? So we went uh, we went up to 310.2 on 8, 321.6 on 6, which is our highest, 311.2 on 4, 314 on 2. Our old highest was number 1. 317.2. Number 3 is 316. 5 is 318.5. And bringing up the rear is number 7. Okay, so what did that wind up doing to our average? It brought our average up over 10 CFM. Now, I'm not going to say that the rough out had a, a smaller opening than it has now. It does. Okay, that's the way I do it. So, if you bring your gasket, you know, your, your intake manifold close to the size of your gasket. Remember, I like to leave the intake a little bit smaller than the gasket. I like a little anti-reversion lip right there. Obviously, it's not hurting as far as flow, is it? So, our average Went up to 314.7. How did we do on our differential? Our last one was 21.8. We're down to 12.4. That's more like what I want to see. I have to vent. One of, one of my uh, people in the comments seemed extremely perturbed that I could have possibly improved on a Wilson intake manifold. Since it was an older manifold, I don't know if it was ported after Wilson did it. There's no way for me to know. Okay, When I did it for DV and Terry, let me grab manifold off the bench and I'll show you. Okay, let me see if I can explain this now. On the Wilson manifold, first of all, it was it had already been uh, modified for fuel injection. So I had to fix that up. But somebody opened it up at the gasket, quite big, and then it necked down at the apex a lot. Okay, so it was wide, necked down, and then went into the runner. Okay? Having your minimum cross section at the apex of the turn is not the way to do it. I can say that pretty much 100%. Okay, that's not going to be it's not going to be a high flowing situation. So, do I know whether that was done at Wilson or somebody else did it? I have no idea. But I will say, I've been in Wilson's shop. I met the owner, very nice guy, very knowledgeable. Talked to him for like 15 minutes. He offered me a job there. Not my gig, sorry. I don't have anything bad to say about Wilson Manifold, but the manifold that I worked on was a wreck. And yes, it was a big improvement when I was done with it, I'm sure of it. If you're wondering what it looks like, it's the black intake. It's got stands that come off here for the fuel rails. They're still welded on it. And it has a textured surface. And it's, uh, it's got a special coating on the outside. It's got a special coating on the inside. That's a DV secret. I really can't talk about it. But 
like I said, 743 horsepower. And I had a nice discussion with DV about which spacers and carbs to use. So I couldn't have been that far off. All right, guys. I needed to vent a little bit. Is there anything else I need to talk to you about this? I think this is, uh, I think this is good to go at this point. Uh, I need to finish. I think the intake bowls are about all I need to finish on the last uh, Chinese Magnum. And then I can test all this stuff together. And uh, then I can do the, I can pour them and do the IOP program. Stan let me know. He's got an updated program, so I will, I will see if I can get that downloaded this weekend, and uh, we'll do everything on the new program and see, uh, see if he made some changes that I can actually use. He's, you know, <laughs> me using a computer versus him using a computer is, you know, a caveman versus, you know, a professor. All right, guys. I think I've had enough Thursday night. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for letting me vent. And uh, I am going to squeak a little bit. Because the guy that owns this had the brainstorm of having the whole thing built in the U.S. and dynoed here. So I gave him a suggestion of one of my buddies in Mississippi. And he gave him a call. They hit it off. I think that might actually happen. And uh, that would be really cool. Because uh, my buddy in Mississippi has done uh, some pretty nice turbo stuff. And he's got an awesome shop. So that would be great. And uh, we can follow along with that build as well. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.